everybody, hope you're doing awesome. Thanks for checking out this video review. I got a super special guest with me. My little girl's super excited about her first Batwoman toy, so I'm gonna have her do a little unboxing and review with me. Baby, you ready? Mm -hmm. What are you excited about? We're gonna open and review Batwoman. All right, are you excited? I'm super excited. So this is the new Spin Master Second Wave DC Characters Batwoman. It was really neat. I saw it, I wanted it, but I bought it for her. So let's get to it and bust this baby open. So here she is, Batwoman. Here's a live unboxing. Go ahead, baby, bust it open. Oh, nice. There you go. You, you knew how to do it. I was about to guide you mm -hmm. because there was a little slit over here on this side. Take it easy. Good. Yeah, careful. You want to take care of the box a little bit. If not really. I'll help you out. Here you go. She comes in another little... Yeah! So this is the plastic casing. Of course, we didn't go through the casing here because we just ripped it right open. Hold the, hold the, oh, 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 she's got some bands there. Bands? She's got a little bit, she's got a couple of little rubber bands there, yeah. Rubber bands. All right, there you go, baby. Batwoman, that is awesome. Batwoman. That is so cool. That is neat, man. I had a great time watching you open it and rip it up yourself, too, so. All right, here's the box. Let's just go through the casing real quickly. So as you see, she's got these, Batwoman comes in the plastic covering. She does have the plastic mold that holds her in. And what's really neat about this little box is that it's got three boxes here with mystery weapons. So that's really neat about this Spin Master DC Batman line. And the whole concept of this is Creature Chaos. And I like the Creature Chaos concept because it's Batman's villains, Batman, Batman's enemies that are all creatures. We, uh, in the wave, in the first wave, we had Man Bat, we had uh, Killer Croc, we had King Shark. Of course, we're always going to get Batman's number one nemesis, Joker. Although he's not really a creature, but you can't have Batman without Joker. So, And in the second wave of the DC release of Spin Master, we have uh, Killer Moth. And I think there's also Copperhead. A uh, few others. I haven't gotten into it completely just yet. All right, you're having a great time, girl? Mm -hmm. So here you go. You got the three mystery accessories. Side art right here, just the Batman logo and the DC. Nothing on this side because you have the plastic mold showcasing the figure. DC Batwoman um, character name. And you got some product, you got a product shot right here. And each casing comes with a little mission and some little accessories and a checklist that you get to check out. So it's got four little missions. So we'll check out Batwoman's mission right now. What are you going to find? I'm going to find Batwoman. Where is she? You want to find Batwoman? Look at her. She's right there at the top. The top? And at the bottom. The bottom? I found her! Alright. Well, let's hope we got that Batwoman because... This one. The... Do you got a bigger Batwoman? No, but I'll get you a bigger Batwoman once I find one. So it comes with an insert here that's got all the characters from the wave. And what's really cool is that all these accessories, these mystery accessories, are also, you know, add to the character's features and also have a really neat, uh, some of them are just limited edition. So there's two releases of the Batwoman and chances are you're going to get either one of these accessories. So let's go ahead and bust. Ma'am, I need your help here. What are you talking to Joker about? Joker. <laughs> All right, let's check out her accessories, okay, baby? Okay. So let's rip those boxes up. You, you want to press it through and pull it down. Uh, press it through and pull it down. Pull the box down from here. Where? Right here, like this. Whoa! Wow! What grappling is it? hook. Grappling hook. Yes, and I think we got the one with the mystery accessory. Yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> oh look, Whoa. the commas. Commas. Those are awesome little ninja weapons. They're ninja weapons? Yeah, they're ninja weapons because Batman was a ninja. Mm -hmm. And then Batwoman was a ninja female. Like, can I put them on her hand? Absolutely, yeah. Yes. So we got the uh, Batwoman or Batman chest piece here, which wow. we can check off on the list here that that little legend there tells you it is a limited edition piece. So that's, that's really neat. That's awesome. Shit, yeah. What is 
It's armor, not for her chest. But we're gonna have to try it out on Batman because I don't know that it fits on Batwoman. No, no yeah, no, it's supposed to be for Batman. But cool, baby. So now we're gonna go into the character, we're gonna go into the toy's detail, okay? What colors are these? Red. And? Black. All right, awesome. So, this is the second wave. Like I said, I got a few figures of the uh, first wave. Actually, I got the whole collection of the first wave, but I got a few. I got rid of a few figures and only kept a few select. But what what really is neat about these figures? They are four inches, and they have some great articulation. They've got some great paint apps. They've got some great detail. So you can check out the figure right here. Head sculpt is cool, but she has no neck articulation. The red hair comes out of the mask, which I thought was a little weird because I just don't see how a, the bat cowl is going to have the spacing for her hair to come out. I figured it'd just be tucked in because and it's loose, so it's going to get in the way when she's flying and shit, whatnot. But the arms are really neat. Shoulders come up all the way. They got full 360 rotation. They hinge at the elbow, and it's a single jointed elbow, so she makes a good 90 degrees. The bat gloves are there, pretty cool. But of course, this is nice little neat details for a four-inch uh, four figure. The Batwoman symbol there on the chest is also pretty neat, very clean. And no, there's really no paint run-ons. Everything's in place, so I really think Spin Master did an awesome job at this uh, at at articulating and producing this figure. So you got single jointed elbows, but as you can tell, they have, they're little, they're segmented, so they're not loose, they stay tight, they stay in place. The cape is like a little vinyl type material, so it's cool, it doesn't get in the way. She's got a peg hole in the back for any type of ex uh, accessories that she might have or come with later on with any added, uh, added features uh, considering other weapons or vehicles. Continuing on with her articulation in the lower body, she kicks out about so. She's got that thigh cut, in and out of thigh swivel, so that's also really neat. So when you compare it to like a six inch Marvel Legends, the articulation is there. The only thing that this doesn't have is the, uh, the hinge at the wrist and the rotation and the ankle pivot or ankle rocker. But for, for four inches, the articulation on this is very, very cool. So she can get into awesome posing. The accessories here, she comes with two commas. They fit on her hand fairly well. You can pose them out. Oh, and she does have that elbow articulation to kind of compensate for the wrist positioning. So that's also very cool. She's got a bat grappling hook right here and they actually fit fairly well into her hands. And again, like I said, she does come with limited edition chest piece for one of the Batman figures. Uh, we'll demonstrate that in a little bit. You put them on her, baby. So again, like I said, here are two other figures that I have from the previous wave, the first wave. Got the original gray suit Batman and the first release of the Joker. This is how they scale up towards each other in this four inch line. Baby, what did you want to do to the Batman? Put this chest piece. All right, go for it. Plop it on. All right, there you go. So a lot of these other pieces don't go, they don't technically go with the figure that they came with. They're uh, pieces that go to other figures that fit the mold. So this would be a Batman chest piece. I haven't tried it out on a Robin or it might fit on a Nightwing, you know? So, but yeah, same thing as a Batwoman. Because of her hair mold, she doesn't have the neck articulation. But Batman here, looks side to side, doesn't have a neck pivot, shoulders come up about so. So the articulation and the range of motion on this is very neat. 360 rotation, rotation at the elbow, hinge at the elbow, single hinge, no wrist articulation, but that compensates, uh, the, the elbow compensates for that, inner and outer thigh. And if you notice right there, my Batman figure seems a little deformed on the shin here with this little, little bend. I'm not sure how that happened, but it looks like a factory flaw right there. So just a little quality control issue on this figure. And here's Batwoman scaling next to two original 
1995-1996 Street Fighter G.I. Joe's. We got Blanca and Ryu. Ryu. And these are three and three quarter inch. So you can tell. Let's see what these babies scale at. So we got that woman right there clearing just at the four inch mark. And of course, the G.I. Joe's here at three and three quarters. Blanca seems a little taller, I guess, because of his head sculpt. But hey. These are the ones that I grew up with. Articulation at the waist, single jointed knees, same thing with the arms. The only thing that the Spin Master lacks is that waist articulation, even with its regular figures. But the hips, the hinging almost compensates for it. So it's still, they're still really cool figures. And you get yourself here. For the packaging, the pricing, this figure runs you about eight bucks. There's a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of jam-packed cool accessories and greatness in just this little eight dollar box. I'm excited to see her play with this figure and I think I will rebuy it just to kind of keep one for myself because the new wave is actually pretty cool and just to kind of see them in the box is fairly fun. So, all right baby, what are you going to go do now? Play with her with Captain America on Black Panther. All right, awesome. Go fight crime. Go, go beat up. Uh, go beat up Thanos. Well, that's it for my special guest. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. These uh, DC Spin Master renditions of the Batman release are super neat. So until the next review, thanks. So hot.